Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Raft with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to our lovely little home on the open sea. In today's video, we are going to be doing two, hopefully, fairly simple goals. The first of which is to really focus on building, extending our raft far forwards, and hopefully getting somewhere where we can put our trees, where we can put our nests for the seagull eggs, and just make sure everything is actually planned out at long last. The second thing I want to do is start getting a little bit further in terms of the tech tree. So right now we have, if I research the copper ingot I just got, whilst being attacked by a shark. Excuse me, mate, I'm trying to do science. Yeah, science scares off even the scarier shark. Now, as I was about to say, if we go over to our lovely tech tree here, we, well, it isn't a tech tree, but just research nodes, I guess, whatever you want to call it. We have this, the receiver. So, copper ingot goes in, we click that, and to get the receiver, we need the electronic circuit board. So, there we go, we can now research the battery, which I assume will be needed for the receiver, yoink, and the circuit board itself. And yoink for that. So the the receiver, I believe, is needed for the end game to find the thing we're actually after. I'm still remarkably spoiler free in this game. I have no idea how I've done it, but I have. So we really want that and the antenna, which once again circuit board. So we really need to focus on making some of the. Oh, hello, little island. Um, let's move a little bit further towards the island. Let's have a quick look see underground, underground, under the water. May as well. I do still need some more vine goop because I do still want a bottle for myself, which is always good. Uh, that seems about reasonable. And uh, release the anchor! Let's have a quick look see. Now, I currently am not wearing my uh, flippers and stuff. They're over there in that handy dandy little box because they were losing durability. I'll be taking that, thank you very much. Let's have a quick look see underwater, see how good this area is. I can see you, Sharky boy. Uh, yeah, it looks fairly decent, excellent. I no longer see the Sharky boy, I'm now worried. Okay, so, how much do we have? Before we get underwater then, what I really want to do is add some windows. So I think, to remove these, I simply have to cut them down. Yep, you can go bye-bye, this axe is about to go away. Ooh, problem. I think they're mostly hanging on to the other wall, so let's see what happens. Nope, they were not. Well, that's annoying. I just made a huge mistake. They're not really too much to worry, though. We have ridiculous amounts of food right now, and we can rebuild those instantly. We definitely have the resources. Yeah, that straight away looks much better. I'm still not sure how much I want to actually fill in the roof section. I just want this to look more... I don't know comfortable, more homey, you know? Somewhere you actually want to go to chill would be nice. So then, where are we going to put those planters? I guess let's put the planters back there and put the grill underneath there instead. Yep, that seems more than reasonable. So I'm going to go ahead and do that nice and quickly. One, two, three, four. Honestly, we don't need as many as I've had. We are kind of very good for food. I keep on ignoring food and then still being able to get loads at once. So, maybe we'll just stick with two. Two is very pretty, so... Ah. Did I actually just... Hmm. Question. Did I actually manage to put... No, I didn't. So that needs to be a little bit lower then. We could just have two like that. Actually, that might look better. Remove you. See, this is what I should have done. Because removing it gives it you back into... The inventory and then put that there then move that one so it's in line with that like I say I'll be right back once I've sorted out what I want this to look like and then we'll go and do a little bit of diving to get our stuff but first one thing I want to look at circuit board what do we need copper and vine goo all stuff we can get from this lovely area we're in. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, after I have a drink so I don't die. Well, apparently you can actually wear the shark head. 
I did briefly recall someone saying that, so I thought I'd give it a try. Does it scare the shark off at all? Perhaps make him think I'm his bestest friend ever? Uh, uh, me and you? Me and you, sharky boy? Don't eat the raft! Sharky boy! Bad sharky boy. Bad. Come back here. Oh, don't actually come back here so quickly! Thank you for doing what I said, but not so quick next time. The mad dodge, though. Yeah, just because it's far too dark and I can't see a thing doesn't mean I can't fight. Ow. Oh, he's so close to being killed, though. Okay, this is just obscuring my vision. I'm sure if I actually had friends, that would be hilarious, but I'm all alone here. Wow, holding it makes it look like a weapon. We do actually have one vine goo left, so let's make that circuit board and do a little bit of research. And now we can research the antenna, and we can research the receiver itself. So, receiver, antenna, how do I make you? Also, the movement and background is starting to make me feel a little bit nauseous. Receiver, planks, circuit boards, and hinges. Okay, the hinge we can make right now. The circuit board's soon enough, but we need the power, though, the battery. How do you make the battery, it said earlier? There's the battery. Copper and scrap. Okay, that's not too difficult either, honestly, so that's not too bad. I'm guessing... Hmm. I wonder how you actually use the battery, then. Well, I guess we'll find out when we actually get the battery. So for now, it's time to go underwater. That shark is really close to being killed, so hopefully... Once we go underwater, we can just kill the darn thing and be safe. I was going to do some fishing and just get some shark bait, but hopefully killing the thing will make us even safer. Hello, sharky boy. There we are. You're dead. Now it's harvest until we get your head. Thank you very much. Now... Ooh, giant clam. Lovely. Now what I want to do is do some harvesting. We actually want some more sand right now because I want to make some more furnaces. We didn't quite have enough sand. We had everything else but not enough sand. After that, what we're mostly after is copper and metal. And you've all seen me do this before, so I'll just skip ahead. A new island and a bit of a change to our ramp. Nope. Ow. Well, actually, no damage. All oh, thankfully Skyrim climbing there, so we're fine. And we find a new mango tree. Lovely. I was running out of mango seeds, so... Come on. One. The only tree that seems to always give at least one seed is the palm tree here. There we are, one palm seed from that. The crate contained vine goo in addition to loads of metal, which is lovely. And I'm already full of my inventory. That's amazing. I emptied most of the stuff this time. Don't really care about the candle, though. Yep, there's a shark. Sharky boy. Stop being annoying. This time, I did make a load of shark bait as well, so while we're around here, we should be way safer than before. Well, look at that. You got trapped and you got eaten. Also, I just got an achievement for being a shark hunter, even though I now can't harvest the thing because that was my last spear. But still, at least we're now safe around this area. Bit of a waste of um, shark bait, honestly. I'm hoping the shark bait lasts. I'm hoping it's a kind of hit point system rather than just after X amount of time it decays. Because that way, when the shark comes back, it should instantly be distracted by that being there once again. I also now just realised I've accidentally left my scuba gear back in the raft. So currently I don't have my flippers or anything. Yep, I am a dum-dum. But I don't think that's a shock to anyone. And this place is so much better than the last island! God, when the storms come in this game, they really appear, don't they? Oh my god. Can hardly see anything. I've probably upped the gamma in this little bit in the video, maybe, I don't know. And believe it or not, the wet rocks I've left here, the wet um, bricks, I should say, are still wet. Gee, I wonder why that is. It's almost like they're in the rain. Well, I have three more at least. Well, that's definitely enough, so we don't have to go after clay and um, clay and sand anymore. 
just need to focus on getting as much metal as possible. Honestly, we don't need the flippers or anything right now, so I'm going to save their durability and just go back down. Whilst the shark's not here, and whilst that shark bait is still here, I don't feel in danger, so don't need to rush this. And plus, we have five more shark bait remaining, so durability of those is probably more important right now. Here, yeah, metal, metal, metal. Okay, so the shark will go after the bait. Excellent. Don't want to risk attacking him, though. Let's grab as much seaweed, as much scrap, and as much metal as possible. I've just realized something. I think the game may be broken. Because right now, I still don't have the flippers on, nor the oxygen. And, well, I am going incredibly quickly and running out of oxygen incredibly slowly. I think the game still thinks I'm wearing them, even though they're currently safely away in the box, not taking any damage. Yeah, that's really looking likely right now. Hello, Sharky boy. Enjoying your meal? That's good. Just going to put some stuff... Oh, look, they've dried. Excellent. I'll grab those in just a tick. Just going to throw these in here for now, so I'll grab some more stuff. Just stay there. Just stay there. That's fine. But yeah, I really think that's a known bug. Well, if it's bugging me, I'm assuming it's going to be known. I'm actually going to look it up after this clip, just to see... Ooh. Is that the shark? That looked really glitchy. Must have gone through the building to hit me. Okay. Let's get smelting some stuff, then I'll throw him some more bait. One more furnace. Lovely. There we go. Smelting down all of those seaweeds. And soon, seaweeds, all of that seaweed rather. And then we can start smelting down all of the metal as well. We could probably make more. Um, do I want another smelter? All we need is one more brick. Do we have enough sand? Yes, we do. Do we have enough clay? I just saw it like five seconds ago. Yes, we do. In which case, sure. Let's make one more. So we have three of the smelters. Boundaries. Whatever you want to call them. Whatever they're actually called. Smelters. So then, for the receiver, all we need is two circuit boards and one hinge. Circuit board requires copper ingots. We currently have enough for that, so one, two. There we are. We definitely have a hinge in storage. There we are. And then, okay, there we go. We now have the receiver, which is way bigger than I expected. Guessing that's the way forwards. Um, where shall I put this? For now, I think I'll just put it near the front so I can see what I'm doing with it. If we're going to be following this, I assume it really should go somewhere near the front of the craft. We can always move it later, I'm hoping. Battery required. Okay, so that's how that works. So for the battery then, which I believe is in the tool section, we need copper ingot and plastic. So I'll just go ahead and smelt some copper. There we are, there we are. Then we'll go and grab the plastic, which I'm sure I have somewhere. Now, someone actually gave me a great idea. Why don't you use the shark heads as a labelling system? So you have a row of the larger chests and then metal, food, potatoes, more potatoes. Oh my god, how many potatoes do you have? Something like that. And actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's why I haven't named any of the other shark heads, because that's just such a great idea. Because in this game, currently, there's no signposts or anything. So that's the best way of doing that. So what's after that then? After you get that, you, yes, you need the antenna, which means one more circuit board, one more bolt. So, okay, we have the bolts, so the circuit board once again requires some more copper, so it's a good job we're smelting down two, because we're going to need three. So wait until they're done, then we'll do all that, and we'll see just how this thing works. Here we are, we now have the antenna. So how does this work? Use along with the receiver. The receiver. Um, do I need to place it anywhere specifically, or can it be placed anywhere on the craft? It's annoying, because I can't actually see what this looks like, So, because I can't look up right now with it, so I'll just put it here for now. Sure. By the looks of things... Oh, look, there's a cable connecting them! Okay, ooh. That's connecting to number one, so what is two and three? Do you need three of them? 
Or is there something else in the game which I don't currently have? No, I've learned everything except for the paintbrush and the hammock. Actually, we can go ahead and learn both of those right now while we're waiting, so... Research those, learn, learn. Then I get the achievement, a bookworm, because I've learned everything there is to learn. I'll just leave the feathers in there for now. And anything left to collect or do? No, we're pretty much okay. Watered you, right? Yes, we have. All of you are ready to harvest or harvest you. This guy is like the fastest harvester in the world. Might as well eat some of these raw, honestly. It's, that's just how many we have right now. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, so, battery next, then. Yoink. Place battery. Battery is connected. Turn on. Requires higher altitude. Oh. Okay, then. Uh, let's make sure we have space in our inventory, and I'll grab all three, and I'll try and put it up on the next level. If that fails, then we'll build a tower. Oi! Really need to get my metal spear back. This thing's terrible in comparison when you're not used to it anymore. Uh, battery first, I guess. Yep, pick up battery. And I'll pick up this. Oh, the battery has a lifespan. Makes sense, I just didn't know if the game was going to do that. You know, we could just make a little radar tower anyway. It'd be more fun than just building up here. Okay, yeah, let's leave the island then. So we can collect some more stuff. Now, the problem is, we have actually hit this island very briefly earlier, so I'm hoping we can leave fast enough. I've already broken my paddle, so let's see how this goes. Lovely. So which way is forward now? Now forward's this way, so it's a bit sharper than it was before. Thankfully I've made the L shape here and here. Because if it was here and here, we'd actually get some missing. Because of course it goes all the way along here, so... Collection, collection, miss... Yeah. The ground floor is complete, and now we're working on the next floor up as the whole thing tips and slides horribly. Which makes building all the more fun. So I'm thinking I'll go three up, and every floor I can actually get off and, you know, have a look around. That would make sense, right? Right. Although, if I did do the ladders next to this, how easy is it going to be to get into there? Probably actually quite difficult. So what I might do is make it slightly larger instead. Yeah, make it a sort of L going up. Yeah, that would be a lot easier, wouldn't it? But it would take more time, but it would be a lot easier. Fine. Lathrix, you've convinced me with your brilliant argumentation. Then I'll put another bit there. Okay. Okay, so the plan is, if these need to be further apart than we can put here, what we're going to do is have one of these radio towers here, here, and then at the back, making a little triangle. And that will be how we do this. Um, that will probably mean I will have to knock out some of the stuff over there. But that's fine. I'll simply attach it to where that is. And then we'll move the sail and perhaps put it down here. Honestly, the sail being lower would be a good thing. Since it would be closer to the anchor. And then we might even move the anchor over there. So I think that's what we're going to do. In fact, even if... It doesn't work that way, and I can't attach it so far away. I think I would like three of these towers, or even four of these towers anyway. Just making the whole place have a bit more rigidity. It makes it look a bit more sturdy. I don't, I don't really know why it does, but just having towers and stuff makes it look like, well, if it can support a tower, clearly it's not going to break in five seconds, is the idea. Well, we have enough scrap for at least one more of these, and we definitely have enough copper, so... Let's go ahead and start smelting down all the copper we have. There we are. We'll make one more antennae and we'll see if that actually works. Here's hoping it will. Also, hey, I could make one more smelter, finally. That requires scrap, so not right now. Later, we will indeed make that. One more copper ingot. Thanks, Rain. 
Okay, we have one more antenna. Let's see if this works being so close. Too close to receiver, too close to antenna. Okay. That's good to know. So remove you. In fact, that would mean that the other one is also... Yep, too close to receiver. So let's see how far away we can put this. And that still connects. Okay, then. So we can put them really, really far away. Now, I wonder if that's going to say too low. Wrong altitude. Okay, yes. Yeah. So what we need to do, then, is build four... Well, three more towers. We'll have... Well, we could put this in the middle, but I kind of like having them all. Oh, yeah, we could just put this in the middle, couldn't we, and have them all attached like that. They're saying that this freaks out when it was too low, so maybe not. Turn off. Maybe not. So remove that. Then we're going to make carbon copies of that tower. One over here. Then... Oh, we could... We could do, if we remove the sail... I'm going to do now. We could put the sail there like we originally planned, then have the antenna, well, have the receiver here, making a smaller tower there, then having the other antenna there. Okay, so how far away does this need to be? That's the question. How far away does it need to be? If it needs to be too far away, that won't work. So, obviously, that doesn't work. If I put it down here. Still fairly close, and at the wrong altitude. Okay, just wrong altitude, so what I'm thinking will work. So let's get this done, then. The three antenna are now made, as you can see here, which means now all we need to do is focus on building up the towers themselves. Now, of course, we could make this a lot easier on ourselves, make it a lot more simple, but I want the towers. Going to do this exactly the same. We're just mirroring the other construction. Like that. Yep, then we add the ladders themselves. Lovely. I'm afraid I'm all out of time for today's episode. That may have came out of nowhere, but today I have been recording for a ridiculously long amount of time to get this progress done. It just seems like... I just haven't done as much as I would like in these few hours, but we are definitely getting closer towards the end goal. So in the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to be removing these two, because honestly, I think they're absolutely hideous. So these two will be simply knocked down. And then we're going to make a bit of a bridge, a bit of a control area in the middle, which we access via here, and it will extend a bit further out and have windows and everything. But most importantly, it will have the receiver in that thing over there. Still not very good with that, am I? Anyway, we'll have that there, and then behind us, we'll add the last of the antenna. That way we have one there, one there, one there, and they will all connect to the control room. And I think that is how we're going to play it. Then I think I'm going to add a couple of fences just around this, so we can control this in one area, and we will still be extending further forwards. So, with that, if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Raft is a series you wish to see continued in the future. We're getting so close. So, so close. Thank you. And goodbye. Goodbye.